Alle frischen, ne? Was ist denn da? Okay, guys. The webinar will start in a couple of minutes. Uh, we are doing a microphone check right now. And we'll, we'll be live in just two minutes. I'll shortly mute my microphone now. Okay, we have two people. We'll, I guess, we'll wait a couple of minutes for a few more people to join in. Okay, I think I think we can start. More people will will join in later, and uh, everyone will be able to to watch the recording of this anyway. So, the idea of this webinar is to tell you guys a bit more about uh, what we do, why we do it, and uh, what our what our future plans are. And basically, it's going to be an informal kind of uh, session. We are in no way a corporation or anything. So we'll basically do a presentation. And uh, at any time, you can uh, open up the, the Q&A app. Uh, I'll try to show you, basically. Here we have a Q&A button, and now you can press it to, to open up questions. And we have a second uh, PC here uh, where we'll check for, uh, for new questions, so you can post your questions. George, could you open up the Q&A app there? Yes. So we'll keep an eye for, for any questions that you guys ask, and we'll, um, we'll basically interrupt the presentation and take questions so that it's more of a conversation than a presentation and uh, I think we should we should start by by uh, presenting ourselves uh, I'll switch to the slides now um, just a second 
Okay. Georgi, do you want to start? Yes. So I'm Georgi. I've been I am a mobile developer doing it since, since the dark times of uh, mobile. Started with Java Micro Edition and Symbian. And then uh, I moved to Android and iOS, and I did a lot of different uh, types of applications like messaging, uh, location based services, uh, audio players, things like that. I've been, I've been doing various uh, things. And that's uh, shortly for me. I have about maybe 10 years or more experience in mobile development. Okay. Uh, and I'm Krasi. I'm um, mainly doing apps for Windows and uh, anything related to Microsoft technologies. I uh, have a master's degree in artificial intelligence and a few of the more interesting projects that I have been involved in uh, are a movie recommendation system that uh, basically used your history of the movies that you watched and the movies that your friends watched to recommend you movies. And I have done also a few computer vision related uh, projects like an OCR for the Kirillic alphabet. And now me and George started into game. We uh, started about eight months ago. Uh, so me and, me and Georgi play a lot of games like uh, I suppose most of you guys. And we, we, got, a, we got an Oculus Rift and it took us like two days to set it up we were and and we weren't impressed at all to be fair we in, in, in the beginning we only played the two demos that you get uh, but later we found out about uh, google cardboard uh, when uh, when google presented it at google io and basically we were kind of blown away by how much you can do with so little with just a cardboard headset and we we asked ourselves can't we just do the same thing that Oculus does but with your smartphone and we'll yeah we'll talk about that uh, more later now I suppose uh, all of you are familiar with virtual reality, but uh, still we, we'd like to put in some sort of a definition in here. So I think the best example about VR comes from the movie The Matrix, where we have an artificial intelligence that has created a computer simulated environment and virtual reality is not much different. It's a simulation of the virtual world, of the real world, where you can see, touch, smell, feel the objects uh, around you. And basically, yeah, that's a, that's a simple definition. And now, why is VR important? And this is for a number of reasons. Let me give you one first example here. Uh, we here you can see a guy that's at the movies alone. He's alone, but we 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 never we never go to the movies like that, do we? And uh, it's a, it's a funny question to ask yourselves why? Because the movie theater is a dark room where you just sit for a few hours. You're not supposed to talk to other people, but we still go with our friends. And this is because we people like this sense of presence and uh, company. And virtual reality can create just that. Virtual reality can create the sense of presence of others around us. Another good example is that Nowadays, most people don't uh, work and live 
in the same place where their family lives. And virtual reality can make you stay connected to your family. We know we all have now cell phones, we have video video chats, IMs, etc. But you still feel like you're talking to a screen. It's just not not the same like being there. Now virtual reality can actually provide us with a way of being with the people we love and uh, really feel that way. VR can also take us places where you can't go. This is a photograph from Mars um, taken from the Mars rover and you can take similar photos 360 degrees photos like this one, put them in a VR app and watch them through a headset and it's just an amazing experience. It's it's just like you're really there, which, which is kind of cool. Another example is uh, from the uh, field of co-working. Using uh, virtual reality, you can create a virtual conference room where not only you can see and talk to the people around you, you can also experience their reactions and emotions to, to what you have to say. And of course, the best example for VR comes from the field of gaming. VR can put you right in the middle of the battlefield and everything happening in the game you feel as if it's happening to you and we think that's just what gamers want in the end and that's what we want to achieve with our app so in order to experience virtual reality you need a headset like this guy right here uh, and when you put such headsets you're isolated from the world around you and you can focus on the virtual one we can take one such uh, headset apart and it has a few interesting components. First off, it has a screen and it could be a dedicated screen like in the case of Oculus Rift or it just could be your smartphone. It has lenses, which we'll talk about later and it has some sort of sensors that can track your head movement and uh, use it in, in the game or in the app. And there are all sorts of headsets right now and I'll pass control to George so he can tell you more about them. I'll switch to camera in just a second. Yeah, I think you can see us now. So, I will show you some of the headsets we have here. You probably know this. This is Oculus Rift. It's the premium uh, VR headset on the market. And uh, it works uh, connected with cable to your PC. So, it's just a dump headset that uh, gets the picture from your PC and uh, you put it on your head that way and uh, your head movement is tracked and uh, the the camera is moved accordingly and uh, the scene you see on the headset it is uh, quite costly it costs uh, 350 dollars currently and it's a developer preview so it's not really ready for the prime time and also it's really quite difficult to set up. Also, I've noticed that uh, if you want to play any games for it, the game needs to be uh, changed to support it. If, uh, if the game doesn't support Oculus, you won't be able to play on it. Also, what else we have here? So this is uh, Google Cardboard. This is the cheapest headset on the market. And how it works, 
it is just a cardboard really you you open it you take your phone and uh, on your phone you start uh, you start application or some game you want to to, to watch and uh, i can show you uh, by i start the cardboard uh, demo application and uh, i can choose uh, some demo to play by the way uh while george is launching the app i see we have a question how about delay in between the the mobile app and the in the in the pc app and uh basically the latency is um is pretty small we support currently we'll talk about this more later but you basically connect your phone uh, via wi-fi or for android we support also usb tethering and um the picture we take from the game is uh, streamed just instantly to the mobile app so the uh the delay you you if if everything is working and set up correctly you shouldn't be able to feel it it's just a few milliseconds and in the tests we have uh we have done uh here with with our uh, with our software and our hardware uh basically just any any wi-fi router uh, that you have at home will do the job and uh, you need some sort of uh we should call it a gamer's PC, a gaming PC. And if you have such hardware, you should be fine. You shouldn't be uh, experiencing uh, much more latency. And uh, that's, uh, I think that that should answer your, your question about delay should be really minimum. And it's not, um, in, in no way it's uh, greater than, than Oculus. Okay, continue, George. Okay. so. I started application. I'm not sure how good you can see on my uh, phone screen that uh, uh, you see uh, the display divided in two. And uh, as you can see, when I move the phone, uh, you can uh, you can see uh, the view angle also updated in the in the application. And you just put your phone in the headset. You close it and. You put it on your head, and uh, your head movement is tracked that way. And you see, you see the things in 3D uh, on the display. So this is uh, how it works with the cardboard, and uh, this is how it works with um, most other headsets on the market. So only Oculus is dedicated to the PC. Our other, our other uh, headsets they use uh, your mobile phone which is very, very convenient because everyone has one. And I'll, just, I'll show you some other headsets we have here. So this one is a core, called Core Cross, and uh, it's uh, more sturdy than the cardboard. It's uh, quite uh, flexible, so you can open it that way. And uh, you take your phone. Put it here, close it too much, and uh, you put it in your head. And uh, it works uh, uh, quite good that way. And it, and it works with uh, all sizes of phones. Yeah, it's a very flexible, so you can. Uh, uh, you can uh, ac accommodate pretty much every size phone you have mm -hmm. from small to big. Uh, also, uh, I've noticed that uh, you can uh, change the distance between the lenses uh, and uh, the the, also the distance between the lenses and the display. That way, um, if uh, that way you can match uh, for your uh, eyes. And also, it's a big. Uh, also of note is that uh, if you need uh, eyeglasses, you can watch on this uh, cardboard and uh, any other headset, you, you don't need uh, glasses to, uh, 
to, to watch and to play games. Yeah. Basically, I take my glasses off when, I, when I'm using the app. Some, some other headset we have. We are actually not quite sure what's the actual name of this headset, but uh, we like this the most. Uh, it costs about uh, 20 bucks, like uh, this one, by the way. It's, uh, they cost about uh, the same. But uh, it's the best uh, bucks for uh, the best quality for uh, uh, for the price. Yeah. So it uh, you open it and uh, you just you again put your phone here. And uh, so <laughs> okay. <laughs> My phone will not fall that easy. Basically, it has a stand. You, you yeah. should put the, the phone in there. But once you put it, it's uh, pretty pretty stable yeah. and comfortable. Again, you can change the distance between the lenses here and uh, uh, the distance between your eyes so that they match your profile perfectly. And uh, this one we like the best because uh, it doesn't bring any light in it's uh, your phone is completely inside the case so no light uh, comes from from the edges inside mm. and it's the best uh, for the for the doors you can have yeah it's the best quality you don't you only see the the display of the phone and we have another question about our future plans to add 3d driver and lens correction and uh, yeah we will talk about this in more details later we, we have some slides for that. And uh, we can show you uh, some uh, uh, another headset we have here. This is uh, Samsung Gear VR. It's, uh, we think, uh, the best headset on the market right now. Uh, why? It has the best quality of the picture. It's uh, even better than Oculus Rift. But it costs about uh, $200. And uh, currently, uh, there is a version that works with uh, Samsung Note 4 phone. And there will be a version that works with Galaxy S6 phone. So you, if you have one such phone, you're lucky. But otherwise, uh, you will need to buy the headset and the phone to, to play it. But it's also optimized, the software, when you, when you have uh, applications for VR. It's optimized for a minimum latency and uh, minimum uh, for the fastest uh, sensor uh, reading. Yeah, basically the sensors on this headset are pulled like three times quicker than the ones on your phone. And it also has some uh, uh, trackpad here and uh, a back button for navigation and for the other headsets uh, only uh, google cardboard has this uh, magnet here that uh, works as a button uh, but it's a uh, pretty primit primitive and this one this one is better and uh, this is uh, this is good for navigation inside uh, of VR applications. Otherwise, uh, you just need to uh, take your phone, start the application, then put it in the headset. And uh, in the headset, you have only the head movements and no other interaction from the uh, from the phone itself. So this is uh, mm -hmm. these are the headsets we wanted. We have here. We have also size headset but uh, we forgot it for the presentation <laughs> and uh, we really really we really like the gear vr how would for you, the best quality how would you order the headsets from best to worst the so the best one gear vr then okay oculus rift and then probably this one this, uh, <laughs> No name, uh, one, and uh, we'll we'll actually uh, add the link uh, later 
uh, where you can buy it online. It, it has a bunch of different names, uh, so we don't really know how it's called, but uh, we'll show you where you can get one from. And this one after this and the cardboard. Cardboard, well. yeah. The most basic uh, but most affordable one. You can get one for, for five bucks, even less if you make it on your own. Okay, uh, I'll take a look if there are some more questions. Otherwise, we'll go back to the presentation. Um, okay. Mm, I missed one. So, I missed one question, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a comment that uh, this not this is not quite good for a phone as big as Note 3. Um, I have a Note 4 here, and I I can fit it in, in this in this headset. I'll I'll show you right now. Basically. This, this thing here is quite adjustable. It's uh, for phones as big as, uh, say, six inches, which means you can put in here even the new Nexus 6. And you just, I, I have to hold it open. It's not the, the most user-friendly thing on Earth, but here you can see it, it worked. <laughs> So uh, if you have a big phone, don't worry. It's it's even better because that way uh, you see a clearer picture with le less pixels. I'm I'm going back to the to the presentation now. Mm -hmm. Okay. That shouldn't have happened like this. Never mind. Okay, Georgie, go ahead. So I'll continue with the VR technology we have uh, right now on the market. It's an uh, old new thing. It's in, uh, invented in the last century. And uh, how it worked, uh, actually people uh, were looking at pictures in uh, in 3D, uh, what what you could see was the picture with uh, actually the screen is divided in two, and you see the the same picture twice, but uh, there is some uh, shift in the picture uh, from the left to the right. Why why is this that way? Because uh, when you look at something. Your eyes are looking at uh, at the environment from two different view angles, and each eye sends a picture to your brain. And this picture is uh, a little bit different for each eye. And uh, your brain makes from these two pictures, it makes the actual uh, model of what you see. So. That way, uh, that's why uh, when you have, uh, when you look at the screen on the before you put it on the headset, you see uh, you see a picture, you you see a, um, the same picture twice displayed on the on the screen. Yeah, basically, uh, our brain over millions of years of evolution has uh, learned to make a 3D model of the objects mm -hmm. that we look at by using this uh, difference between the left and the right eye. And uh, you can get the same perception of depth and distance if you show two different pictures, as George explained. And how do we do that? And when you open the headset, you will see there is a, there is a the limiter between the uh, on the half of the screen so that when you look at the screen uh, one eye doesn't look at the screen of the other mm. and uh, also you need uh, lenses because your screen is very close to your eye and when you look without lenses 
it will get uh, buried. That's why you need lenses to focus properly. And uh, that's how uh, that's how you get uh, the actual uh, stereoscopic 3D on the on the screen. And uh, how our software works, I can show you uh, a live demo. Mm -hmm. So let's just switch the the sharing to desktop and. George will um, will basically install the app. Okay, so you go. <laughs> <laughs> basically, you need to open. I broke the demo. <laughs> okay. Okay, you go to our site. And uh, you click on download to download the PC application. You need to install the PC application uh, on your uh, PC to stream st stream your game to your mobile phone. In just a moment. So you download, you open the application, and uh, you click on the Into Game Installer. You just click next, next, and uh, it will get installed. And uh, you have a shortcut on your desktop here with the uh, into game VR, and uh, you just start it. So, and you see the icon here in the system tray on your Windows. And uh, what you need more is uh, you need. Uh, on your mobile phone to have the Android version of our uh, application, or we also, if you have iPhone, uh, we have uh, iPhone version on the Apple App Store. So you need one of them. You install it on your mobile phone, and uh, your mobile phone and your PC need, needs to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, so they and so they will find each other automatically. And uh, let's switch to the camera, and we'll we'll show you how um, we'll now show you how easy it is to to start up our app. So I have uh, the application installed on my phone. I just click on the application icon, and uh, it just. Uh, found automatically the PC and uh, I can click play and uh, actually you can see us here mm -hmm. right now and uh, you are connected and uh, you're streaming uh, to yeah. your mobile yeah uh, we'll do a quick demo to uh, with the game to show you how it, how it feels like I'm sure most of you have already tried it uh, there are a few questions uh, one is how we compared to the Trinos Jura app. Um, basically, the the main difference is uh, in, in our approaches to, to the to the problem. Uh, the Trinos Jury is a great app. We we take took a very close look at it. Um, but uh, the approach that the developer of that app has taken uh, kind of limits what could be built upon in in the future and i think you can see it just right now uh, our frame rate is uh, better than it and it will it will get a lot better in the future um, as to uh, my opinion is that uh, the trinogeria cannot um, cannot get much better in the future and uh, our strongest advantage i think is that we are developing our own 3d driver that uh, will get you experience similar to apps for oculus like a uh, tridev and we'll talk more about this later too um i think i'll, I'll jump into the to the game demo now um so 
there's no way to simultaneously show the camera and the the desktop share in Hangout, so I'm going to switch back and forth. Um, here I have started Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, currently, we support games running only in windowed mode, so you need to adjust your, your video settings of the game. And fortunately, most games have an option called full screen window. And this, what this option does is uh, it displays the game to the whole uh, monitor without you seeing any borders, but our app still works. Uh, so currently it's best if you use this option for, for any game that you play. And I'm going to start an offline game with bots. And basically I'll, I'll show you how I play Counter-Strike. Mm, while the game is loading, I'll put the my smartphone in the headset. Actually, I'll go ahead and show you that. Mm -hmm. So, as before, I put in my smartphone in here. I close the, the headset. Uh, I'll go back to the game probably. Sorry for switching back and forth. There's no much better way to do it. Uh, one thing you should know is that I took my glasses off. Uh, and now I'm playing a terrorist. And I, I use the, the app for walking around. I still aim with... Uh, with my mouse and keyboard. Uh, here I just killed some chicken. Uh, there's no, no point in showing you much more. Uh, I'll switch to the camera so you guys can see how, uh, how, I, how stupid I look while, while I play. So stop sharing. Okay, should be able to see me. Here it is. Look around. I still use my mouse and keyboard. Oh, the round just ended. <laughs> so we'll start. We'll start a new round. Uh, but basically, this is it. And I think the the performance of our app is quite good. I I don't see a lot of pixels. I don't know how to show this to you guys. <laughs> you need to. Uh, the thing is that you need to try this uh, on your own, but uh, go ahead and uh, try it with some first-person game. Would it be Counter-Strike? Would it be Minor uh, uh, Minecraft? Would it be uh, Black Ops, Battlefield, whatever you like? Uh, this is this is this is it, uh, actually. I, I hope you 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 have a, some understanding of how how we use the app and how we imagine uh, you guys would be using it. And later on, we'd be very curious to to hear your comments to to see if um, basically you're, you you want to use it in some different way. Uh, I'll jump back to the presentation. Okay, and Georgie, go so, ahead. Yeah. What we have now, we have application that, we have Windows application that streams any game, any PC game you have uh, to your mobile, as long as your game is uh, running in Windows mode. We have fast streaming, we have uh, head tracking and uh, we support uh, Android and iOS for uh, mobile clients. This is what we this is what we have now. And uh, we plan for the future to make uh, as uh, as someone mentioned uh, to play the game 
you need uh, some sort of 3D driver to to render the game in 3D in uh, in two different viewpoints. Yeah. It's a stereoscopic 3D, basically. And uh, we want to make uh, such a driver so the games uh, work that way. We want to implement full screen support so you don't need this inconvenience uh, to have to switch the game in window mode to play it. We 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 want to make a faster uh, streaming. We have some ideas how to do it, but it's not so. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Free track integration, so the actual head movement is tracked in the game, not just the mouse movement. Yeah, so well, a lot of games support free track. Most simulator games, we think it would be really fun to integrate our app with free track. And we will add more settings, and we will integrate with uh, Gear VR. Currently, because currently it, uh, uh, it's not uh, our application is not uh, seen as a Gear VR application, so we can get advantage of the Gear VR uh, optimizations available. And this is what we have for uh, future plans. Yeah. And there is a question. Do we have a one second delay? No, it's the delay is much less than one second. It's a few milliseconds at best, but uh, a lot less than you than you would uh, uh, actually feel. Uh, when I just played here uh, Global Offensive, practically there was no delay. Uh, if you have any doubts, just download the, the free app and try it. Uh, I think you'll be satisfied with um, <clears throat> with the delay and frame rate. Um, there are some har recommended uh, hardware uh, like specs that uh, you would need. Basically, have a it's much better, as you know, any game runs much better on a PC than a laptop because most laptops have integrated graphics. Uh, if for if still you're using a laptop for gaming, make sure you're always power plugged in so that your if you have dedicated uh, video card, it, it is used instead of the integrated video. Um, what else? Uh, have a possibly a quad core processor, an i5 or i7 processor would be good, and a higher end, uh, higher end video card. Although, yeah, it's it's not a must. It's just for a better experience. And uh, over time, I think we'll uh, be able to improve the experience on lower end uh, PCs as well. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the questions to see if there is um, there's something else. Uh, okay. Okay, I think we answered answered the questions, which is cool. Uh, so all of these uh, plans that we have and not everything that we want to do will. We'll have to work on on this for a few months. Uh, basically, for the for the three D driver, we have estimated like six months of work until uh, we deliver it as we as we would want it. And all of this uh, requires requires funds. Uh, huh, there is a very good question. There's a question about the application for uh, PlayStation Four. And uh, we were investigating is this possible at all, and looks like it is. But we need more uh, things to investigate, how to make it properly. And we we want to say I don't want to say uh, we are sure, but uh, there is a good chance it will work. Yeah. But uh, again, it's more work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh... Yeah, we hope to to bring our app to platforms to to um, consoles too. Sorry, uh, but we have still a lot of work to do. 
uh, and I want to walk you guys through the um, through our uh, campaign at Indiegogo and what we have there and want what we want to achieve and um, basically our campaign is called into game VR play any game in virtual reality um, we we have uh, thought of uh, a lot of perks in order to reward our backers and I'm going to talk uh, a bit uh, a little a bit about each one um, basically our app currently supports any PC game and this will always remain but we want to bring true stereoscopic 3D support to to you guys and uh, to do this we need to do some development for DirectX games for OpenGL games etc for the different versions of uh, of uh, DirectX and uh, basically that means that we need to um, uh, do some uh, prioritize our work a bit to which games get the 3D support first and we decided that you guys our users should uh, decide that basically every 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 perk contains a number of votes uh, for example a five dollar perks um, has five volts in it and uh, we basically send you a promo code and a link where you can vote for your favorite games and uh, this means that the top games will uh, receive 3d support first and the less popular games would uh, receive it last so you can go ahead and vote um, we have uh, t-shirts you can get basically they look like like these t-shirts <laughs> uh, I should probably stand up so you can see them so there is a VR headset and below it it says I'm into gaming <laughs> which we think is fun uh, actually the the t-shirts that we're going to give away are a bit cooler i think because they uh they look like this they're not white they're gray i think um gray looks better uh on, on a t-shirt uh moving on to other to other perks for 18 bucks you can uh, basically basically uh, get a, a license for our app and not only the current version which uh, as you know is a bit limited but also for when we develop the 3d driver itself and the other features for 38 bucks you can uh, you can get uh, our app plus a um, cardboard Google cardboard with our logo on it and the cool thing is i i think we not i think uh, but we will add such head straps so that you can actually wear the cardboard while you're playing so we will send you no matter where you are in the world we will send send you a google cardboard with head straps and uh you will be able to use this for gaming because the cardboard without head straps is not that useful. Um, moving on. So there is a question when we, we will be ready with the final development and we have a roadmap on our campaign. Basically, it's, it's here um we think that somewhere at, in november we will be ready with uh, everything that we have planned including 3d support for all games um 
the FPS improvement, free track integration, etc. So yeah, uh, November is when you should uh, should expect a big release. And of course, this is uh, <laughs> all of this is true if we get uh, the funds that are required. Of course, um, that's the whole point of the campaign. But I think I answered this question. So for a hundred bucks, you can get a plastic cardboard, uh, sorry, plastic headset with our logo on it. <laughs> it's not a plastic cardboard, it's a plastic headset. And it will, I'm switching again to, to camera. Uh, it will look like this one with our logo on the front. Uh, of course, you'll get the, the app license with it, so you can play games. But uh, as we said, this is the best price uh, for quality ratio that you can find on the market right now. We're really excited about, about those headsets because they're really very simple and do a great job. And uh, if you like what we do, you can support us and you'll get a branded headset with our logo on it. Uh, there is one more question. Yeah. So there's a question about the, the sensitivity. Uh, yeah, we, we are, we'll be rolling out a setting for this. I really hope to do it by the end of the week. It has been in development. For some time, we are really swamped by requests and uh, some issues that our users are having, and we are looking at all of them. But sensitivity is a, a really a big issue that we want to resolve, and uh, we'll deliver it uh, as a free update uh, as soon as possible. We have a few more perks. One perk. Uh, that we are really excited about is uh, you get a uh, VR cinema app and it looks, here's the Oculus cinema, ours would look something similar. Basically, you're in a movie theater and you'll be able to watch your own movies. Uh, which, uh, which means that uh, which means that you'll be able to watch your movies on your phone in, in 3D uh, and, and you don't have to, to, to buy Oculus. So currently, there is such an app for Gear VR, but uh, you can only use it with the Note 4 and the Gear VR. We want you to be able to use it with just any phone and headset. Uh, OK. And the last perk is a friends pack basically you buy this for you and four more friends and you get a five branded cardboard headsets and hopefully you can uh, do some multiplayer games where we're really exciting about people playing uh, multiplayer games with our app that would be very fun and uh, we can't wait to to see somebody using uh, doing this, and how you actually buy um, a perk, you just uh, pick one from the list, you click on it, and Indiegogo uh, guides you to the through the process. Uh, you for some perks, you have to include some shipping information. For example, for the cardboard uh, perk or or the plastic headset. You need to add your address so that we know where to ship it to. Um, uh, what else? That, that's all about the campaign. I think uh, what I can say is uh, if you can go to, to our website, scroll to the bottom, and you can subscribe for updates. You. For example, we'll send a newsletter when we implement the, uh, the sensitivity setting. And uh, for our newsletters, we are using MailChimp. 
And that means that if you have a Gmail account and Gmail, uh, use Gmail for your mail, uh, our newsletter will come into the promotions tab, but you can uh, move it to your inbox so you can keep track of our updates. Uh, we, we usually don't, we, we don't intend to send you any spam or anything or offers. We intend to uh, inform you about updates and events like this one. So uh, if you like us, sign up. Uh, <laughs> based, uh, someone in the in the chat said, I'm your fan because you have uh, good ideas. Thank you. We, <laughs> we couldn't agree more. Um, I think this is all about the presentation. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, we we would love to to hear them. So we will we'll be standing by for a few minutes to gather questions. Uh, I'll probably mute mute my microphone uh, for a bit, but we'll wait to to gather some to gather some questions, and uh, and we'll uh, we'll answer them. Okay, we we have a question. What's the what's the best way to help us raise funds? Well, uh, the most obvious one is to back the campaign. Uh, but more importantly, share it to your friends. Um, there are a lot of gamers that would like the idea, but just don't know about it. If you can think of somebody who would like the idea, let them know. I think the best way to spread the word about uh, our app is if you are a gamer who streams while you play games, if you could create a YouTube video or stream to Twitch or YouTube or whatever while you play with our app, that would be really great. It will, it will help us so that uh, people can actually see that gamers are using this and they they like it There's another question. What will happen if we fail with Indiegogo? Um, we will continue development, but uh, we need to spend a lot of time in uh, finding funds in some other ways. <clears throat> Would that be talking to investors or, or whatever we can think of? Um, basically, it won't stop us. It will slow us down, though, significantly. Yeah, uh, so somebody said they're doing reviews uh, for best app ideas. Uh, yeah, we'd, we'd love if you do a review for our app. That would be great. Thank you. We'll wait some, for some more questions, of course. 